Hello YouTube and welcome to another OpenSense tutorial. So on my last video I showed you how to install OpenSense firewall on VMware ESXi and in this video we'll continue our configuration of OpenSense on VMware ESXi. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you can see here on my ESXi, if I go to virtual machine, you can see that uh, my OpenSense virtual machine is running actually, okay? So if I click on it, and if I click on this console window here, you can see that indeed we get an IP address by default on our LAN network, which is as you can see here 192.168.1.1, okay? But for our one network, we don't have any IP address. So we're gonna actually configure that. So as I told you on my last video, in order to access actually our OpenSense firewall, we're gonna use this LAN interface in order to connect to the web GUI. So let's go that. So let's do that and go to this IP address here on our browser in order to configure our firewall okay so let's switch to our firewall here here we go so we enter the credentials that we have input during the installation process okay here we go we are in so as you can see here on this dashboard here both our interfaces LAN and one and one are actually up but we don't get actually an, in, uh, an IP address for our one network as you can see here, okay? So in order to connect to the internet and configure our firewall, we have actually to set that up. So by default, OpenSense will open a wizard, okay? If you don't get it, you can access it anytime. If you go to your system, then you can see here a menu called wizard. So you click on it. So this is actually the first page that you get when you first install OpenSense. So as you read here, this wizard will guide you through the initial system configuration. So the wizard might be stopped at any time by clicking the logo image at the top of the screen. Okay. So let's go through this wizard and see what we can do. Okay. So I'll click text here. So the first screen is actually some general information. So we have our host name, we have our domain, which is local domain. We have the language, so you can change it here if you want, okay? And here you can input directly your actually uh, DNS server. So I will use, for example, uh, our Google DNS. And as secondary, I will use Cloudflare DNS server, okay? So here there is an option allow DNS server to be overwritten by DHCP PPP on one. So if you want this DNS server to be overwritten by the one given to you by your ISP, you can keep this checkbox. Me, I don't want that. I don't. I want only to use this uh, DNS servers. So I will uncheck it. And there is also a service called Unbound DNS. You can configure that if you want. So I will leave the default one. So which is enable resolver. Okay, so I will go next. And this is also a very interesting option here for configuring actually the time zone. Okay, so this is very important if you want to see what's going on on your system and you want to synchronize that with your local time so you can see exactly on what time an event occurs on your log, you can here actually use the time server. So, uh, so I will keep the default one, which is actually uh, for OpenSense. And here, if you have a different time zone, you can switch that. Okay. So I will go next. So this is the IP configuration type. So here, there are a lot of options here. So this is the configuration for your one interface. Okay. So if you are given an IP address from the TSCP from your ISP, you can leave it as it is DHCP but me actually I'm using PPPOE actually configuration type so I will choose that here we go and here at the bottom I will configure actually the credentials for my PPPE 
configuration so I will here enter my username okay and also my password so it depends on your provider you can input here your uh, username your password and your service name okay so me I will just input those two values that are fine here in order to connect to my ISP okay so nothing else to configure here and the bottom there are also two important options so if you are using double NAT you should actually uncheck this two actually checkbox but me I'm connecting directly to my ISP so I will get actually a public IP address and not a private address because I'm not using I'm not behind another router if I am behind another router and if I get actually a private IP address I should uncheck deck and check this just two boxes in order to not block private network but me as I will get actually a public IP address for my ISP I will keep this one okay so I will go next for the LAN IP address I will keep the default one but of course you can change it here you can also change the subnet max if you want so let's go next and also here you can change your root password if you want okay so I will go next and that's all let's reload that so reload is now in progress the wizard will redirect you to the dashboard okay when it finishes so as you can see now we have the screen here congratulations open sense is now configured okay so let's go back to our dashboard and here we go you can see now that I can get a public IP address from my ISP okay and let test if indeed I get the connection so for that I can go to interfaces diagnostics and ping okay and here I will just ping for example the Google DNS in order to see if I get a response or not so if I apply that you can see here the loss is 0% which means indeed we can browse the net okay so let's stop this ping here here we go and remove it and of course here you have also the option to configure that manually so enter interfaces this is your LAN interface here you can prevent it from removal if you want you can also change the IP address of it if you want okay and there is also the one interface also you can do the same here okay So those are the basic settings in order to connect to your net okay and in order to use this uh, actually firewall you have to configure that in your Windows machine so here I am actually sitting on a Windows computer so let's change actually the default gateway of it and make it to use this open sense firewall so I will go here to uh, network and internet settings and I will simply here go to the, my internet internet actually I will edit its configuration so here I was using another router which which has an IP address of 192.168.1.2 and of course I will use this open sense which is that one that one and I will keep the Google DNS server for Google for example and let's save that and normally now we get connection okay test that using for example our command prompt here here we go so this is our command prompt let's ping the Google here we go dot com and as you can see I get responses which means I am connected to the net and of course I can browse the internet so let's do for example test you can see I get responses which means I am fully connected to the internet okay so this is it this is the basic actually configuration for OPN Sense on VMware ESXi okay 
So that was just a brief video to show you how to configure OpenSense on VMware ESXi. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. And of course, if you have any suggestion for future video, drop them in the comment below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.